All right, so I've got molds to make this here kayak, which is awesome. Oh, I love this kayak. It's so good. I took the kids out in it earlier today. So good. Anyway, I need paddles. Okay, this is my favorite paddle. I made it when I made some other kayaks years ago. I really like this shape because when you're paddling, and this was, I did this on purpose, believe it or not, when you're paddling and you come up like this, when you have like a big oval here, the water runs up and drips inside your kayak. But with this shape like this, most of the water drips off there. And I get very few drips coming up into the kayak. So it's, it's actually really nice. Um, although I don't like the flat end. So I'm thinking I need to trace this and round it. Not that the flat end's bad, it's fine, but I, I feel like it might, I, I kind of want it rounded. Yeah, just like that. Right. Yeah. Now I've got this fiberglass thing here, which is the mold for the bottom of an old kayak I made, which actually was a decent kayak, just nowhere near as good as my new ones. And it has a nice curve here which works out really well for paddle curve. Um, so I waxed a section in here, which has already been waxed. I just did some more. And I'm going to use that curve to get a good thingy thingy. Yep. And I've cut out four layers of fiberglass mat. And then just an extra piece, just for a little bit of extra reinforcement around the handle part. All right, and I've got this aluminum aluminum pipe I found in town a while ago, and it has a job now. I, I, I stuffed it with uh, styrofoam, and because the resin will melt the styrofoam, I taped the end just to seal it up so the styrofoam will be in there. And that's just in case any water gets in here. I don't want the paddle to sink, so it should float. Uh, hopefully. All right, I got one end done already. And it looks, it looks pretty good. You know, I obviously have to trim it, sand it a little, blah, blah, blah. But um, when I did this end, I had it laying in there like this. And I've cut my pieces for the next, for the other end. But, it doesn't fit in here and leave enough space, so, yeah. Go like this. I think that should be fine. I think that looks like it's about right. So the first thing I do. two more layers on top of that and I just got all the layers here oh yeah and when I put that on I need to put this so it has a gradual you know thing don't forget that okay <sighs> just get some resin on this thing
That's just pretty good. Oh, that looks pretty good. That pretty much matches, right? Yeah, more or less. So this pipe, I just got it on the side of the street because I'm always picking up junk that's been discarded. Anyway, it has this groove in it. So I put it on this side so when you hold it, you can line it up with your thumb. And I really like that because then you know, the orientation of the paddles. Wonder if I can get more pipes with a groove in them. Not bad. Looking good. All right, I got my paddle trimmed around the edges and sanded Let me get out of my sunlight here I think that looks pretty good maybe I'll just get this kid to paint it since he already has this color out all right if it doesn't rain that should be good yeah. looks like it's not gonna rain get two more coats on that whoa don't don't turn don't turn Alright, made my final coat just blue to match my blue kayak. And then that's pretty much it. And this kid is doing something pretty cool. I like it. Blue to green. That's not a bad paint job for a first one ever. 
course, now we both have to wait like three days before this paint cures, before we can use our stuff. Can okay, use my new paddle?